Hey everyone, so we just got done making korkutai and I have like five minutes before I have to get out of here or before people start knocking the door. So I'm going to show you a very quick makeup look that um, works for the festive season. Uh, first up, I'm just going to prep my skin a little bit. I'm using Dew from Sapphire Platonics. Uh, just spraying it on, allowing it to settle in. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to apply this cream um, concealer from Blush Bee. And I don't want it to settle into my fine lines. So hydrating it makes it blend in a lot better, a lot more neater, uh, which is why I like just doing this small step of spraying it beforehand. So that's it. That's one side concealed. Okay. And I'm just going to conceal the other side as well. Um, I've been using this concealer for a while now and what I do notice is that your under eyes should ideally be moisturized. It works better. It works best without really settling into the fine lines first and second of all if you warm it up a little give it a little time to actually set in. It looks very nice. It doesn't settle in the creases if you if you work with it a little patiently. That's what I would say. Is it as easy as liquid uh, concealer? No, definitely not. Um, there is a bit of a learning curve with this. So yeah, just probably keep that in mind. I also just want to conceal a few more places. Like here. And here. Okay. Okay. Now, while the concealer settles into my skin, I'm going to quickly do my eyes. So I'm keeping it supremely simple. Like... Like ultimately simple. Um, I'm going to be using this brown kajal from Plum. I'm just going to line the outer half like this. I chose brown because it's not as um, dark as black. It still gives you definition uh, but without being very stark which some people don't like. Okay, almost there. There. So the thing is, while I was uh, drawing it, I just drew it a little bit below the lash line for a slightly smudged look. So it just gives a little bit of that smudged look without me doing anything. And to bring a little bit of sparkle to the face, I'm going to put a metallic eyeshadow just on the top of my lid. So I think I'm going to go with... This shade, can you see it? Yeah, I hope you can see it. I'm just going to dab it in the center of my eyelid. This is like my favorite way to just bring a little bit of uh, shine and a little bit of uh, like the festive feel. There's something about metallics, isn't it? Definitely festive. So yeah, this is my eye makeup look. Literally, I'm not doing anything else. Oh, I'm going to add mascara because... Yeah, need to open up the lashes, make yourself look a little bit more uh, wide-eyed, brighter, nothing like mascara, right? So my favorite trick for mascara is look down into the mirror and move the brush in an upward way. Also, if you want to get away without using an eyeliner, choose a mascara that has a wand-like this, which is uh, something that's going to add more volume. You can see the difference, right, between the side and the side. So yeah, the mascara can definitely um, add more oomph to the entire look. Almost there. Yeah, okay. Now, I can't live without, I can't live without blush. So... I'm going to add a little blush and then I'm going to set my entire face. You may have noticed I skipped eyebrows today, but that's because I'm really short on time. So, yeah. Just lightly dabbing it in. This is uh, from uh, Sugar, Mauve Marvel. I've used this blush for years. This is my second time around picking it up. And this time I picked up just the blush and not the entire contour palette. So, um, that should tell you how much I love this color. It's super pretty. Uh, super... It looks really great on multiple skin tones, actually. So, yeah. Okay. Final step. 
all the sweating. Final step is to set everything. So I don't sweat. We're about five minutes in. Uh, this is the verified um, IRL Paris filter setting powder. This takes a second to a little bit like settle into your skin. But when it, once it does, it makes the entire look look amazing. So just dusting it. I, if you noticed, I didn't go over the blush because I don't want to reduce the intensity of the blush. There we go. Okay. And literally the last step will be lipstick. This is a disguise uh, feather light matte liquid lipstick in nostalgic rose. Um, really pretty pink color. Keeping it kind of neutral today. So yeah, pink it is. Now, great trick to make sure that you don't get lipstick on your uh, teeth. Anything excess on the inside will come off and nothing will stick to your teeth. So yeah, this is my festive makeup look. Just need to get a bindi on and if I can find a chain on, I will. And I'll have a photo up of the final look. Thanks for watching. Bye.